Hey, do you ever have a problem with your tranny being in uh, low, low on your Dodge Ram? I had that problem the other night. So I came back, I had to drive like a mile from my last customer after plowing her driveway. Would have liked that. And I was, uh, I was like uh, bumming out thinking, what the hell's wrong with my tranny? I figured there was something serious wrong with it. Turned out it wasn't something serious after all. I'm going to talk to you while I'm unhooking the plow. i got to get this unhooked. Truck's going to the shop tomorrow. Having the oil done. Oil on this thing. It's practically black. I mean, it needs to be done. I happen to have a shop nearby that I usually go to if I'm not doing it myself. I do it myself in the summertime because, uh, you know, it's warm. Even though I kind of hate dealing with it, I still do it myself. But in the winter like this, when it's really cold, you know, this, this is not a heated garage out here, so I'm not, uh, I'm not really into hanging out in it in the cold, getting underneath the cold truck and getting all dirty and oily. So I take it to somebody else that has a heated garage, somebody I know, really good mechanic, does bikes too. Uh, I take it there and I let them do the oil. So let's go in there tomorrow. But back to this transmission problem. This truck actually has several problems with it. Uh, the transmission problem's not a problem. And uh, it doesn't have many other problems, except I think I might be getting a uh, stuck caliper. And if it is, it's heating up one of my wheels and I gotta have that checked out. I'm gonna take this truck on a little spin around the lake right now just to see if that heats up and if it does I'll have have it checked out tomorrow in the garage all right I got the keys <laughs> helps to have the keys don't it I noticed when I pulled it in here a few minutes ago it seemed like it was like it was dragging you know like a, like a brake was on uh, it's, hard, it's hard to describe that feeling unless you know what I'm talking about I'm sure you do. So anyways, all right, let me pull it out of here. We're going to take a little spin around the lake. Oh, i got to shut that garage first off. I'll leave it. Oh, I better shut it. <laughs> you never know. I live in a pretty safe neighborhood. It's nice around here. But I have a lot of stuff that I'd like to keep. And uh, that's why I'm going to make sure that's locked. I'm going to make sure my car is locked. Okay, everything's locked. House is locked. Good to go. Let's take a little spin. Just check it out. Let's see what's up. Before I take off, though, let me show you. I did say there's a couple little things wrong with this truck. And one of them, as you can see on the dash, I have uh, a low tire pressure indicator flashing on me. 
Now put air in the tire, even put extra air in the tires. But uh, I'm told that I have to drive it like 50 miles before that goes away. I haven't driven it 50 miles yet, so we'll see if that happens. But uh, you can see it's in four-wheel drive now. I'm going to take it out of four-wheel drive, which is done right here, as everybody knows. Flip it over to two, and then that light goes off. But the other night, that light was stuck on, and I found out the way to uh, fix that. It's pretty simple, really. Right now, I'm test driving. I'm going up a hill here. Actually, I wanted to go down that way. I'm going to back up. It's a dirt road. I live on a dirt road. Not much traffic. Probably three cars that come down here during the day on a work day. But I wanted to check out a house up here that I plow. I wondered how his driveway looks. It rained a lot the other day. And uh, almost everything melted. This was like two feet of snow, two or three feet of snow out here. And now it's down to the grass, the bare grass down to the ground actually so this is uh, just on the other side of this house is a lake right there it's frozen over I think and uh, I plow a house over here with this boat although I just stopped doing this driveway because I got stuck in it the other day and had to be towed out it's a steep one but anyways I got stuck in it and had to be towed out so I dropped that driveway and let it go and uh, the truck seems to be running fine. I mean, nothing's dragging on it. But I want to drive it for a few minutes and then get out and see if there's any heat um, on the hubs or the, uh, the, where the brakes are. I want to see if there's any heat. Another driveway I do right up here. Looks like they're there. Whole family's in there. They just bought that house. All right, so, so far, so good. I'll say one thing for this truck. Definitely uh, takes these dirt roads, the bumps and stuff in it. And there's some pretty big holes in it right now, potholes. It takes uh, the bumps pretty well, pretty well. You can feel them and you can hear them, but this is not, my car really is uh, terrible on this. I got an Altima. Optima, not Optima, Kia Optima, and uh, doesn't like the bumps at all. I like the I like the car. It's got a few things I don't like about it, but most of the stuff the car has I do like. It's pretty comfortable. It's really really classy looking. Um, real sharp. I wish it had a little more luxury to it. I wish the package was a little better. You can see the road. See all the potholes over here. See, it's unreal. I even have to slow down the truck for those. And the whole road's like that. Look at it. There, these potholes are a good seven inches deep, at least. At least seven inches deep. All right, let me get back to telling you, uh, get back to what this video is all about. Distracted you enough with potholes and plow removal and whatnot. Uh, anyway, I came back from that customer. It was in low low. I didn't know what was wrong. I thought the tranny was gone. Yeah, I had to jump out on this road. This Hemi boy, I think, kicks ass. Just step on that gas a little bit and you fly. Uh, I'm gonna go back up this. Uh, I don't know what I had in the back of this truck, but it just came slamming forward. I think it was a shovel. I know I had some sand in there, but I got a board holding it, holding that steady. All right. So the uh, the light, the indicator was saying that it was in low low. I couldn't get it out. Tried everything on the way back. I went to two wheel drive. It just flashed and four wheel drive. Went to four-wheel drive and flashed on four-wheel drive and then came on regular. Tried to get it out of low low and just flashed in low low. So I got all the way home and uh, investigated a little bit and it turned out it was as simple as can be. Probably everybody knows this. Everybody but me knew it. Uh, 
what I had to do was stop to make sure the truck was stopped and at home it was stopped obviously uh, I had to stop the truck and then at that point put it in neutral not park in neutral it makes a difference uh, apparently it does it did with me so I put it in neutral and then put it in two-wheel drive and it went into two-wheel drive just like that once I had it in neutral then I took it out and I tested it just like I'm testing this thing now for a different issue and uh, it was fine so that's that's how you fix that you get your truck stuck in uh, in some transmission mode you get a four-wheel drive you get it stuck in some transmission mode that's not what you want normally you can with, a, with this kind of truck here with this Dodge Ram with the uh, switch on the uh, dashboard all you got to do is just turn it to what you want it to turn to but in, uh, when you're in low low apparently it doesn't work like that so all you got to do is stop the truck pull it over put it in neutral then put it into a wheel drive and you're out of low low issue solved problem over get on down the road so that's what I wanted to tell you about I know I did another long dragged out talk 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 video but uh, you know this is making up for all the ones I didn't make <laughs> so that's the deal alright hope you have a good winter keep that mask on you know uh, be safe make it through all this crap and uh, live the life you know Bye.